see you. And my name is Kukla. I'm going to start the show right away because I'm here we have a very exciting thing in store for you. Uh, some really wonderful music and a, an old favorite by one of our great singers here at the Kukla Powhatan Playhouse. So, uh, Kenneth, would you start the, uh, the, the regular show, you know, the theme, please? That's it. Here we are, back with you again. And yes, by golly. And yes, by golly. A kookla friend. And dear old Ollie. Here we are again. Here, Here we, we are, are again. again. Here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. That's enough. That's enough. No, no. That's nice of me. Thank you, Ken, very much. Well, friends, um, in our library, our music library, we have a few favorites that we always love. And these few favorites are always sung by a very great favorite lady singer of ours, probably the finest lady singer we know and the one we love the most. So uh, here she is now. I want to bring her in. Hey, come right in, dear. And uh, thank you, uh, darling. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Madam Ogopus. Well, well, sorry, darling. I can come back. No, no, Fran, no. Fran's going to sing for us, Madam Ogopus. Oh. Well, pardon me. <laughs> she, why do I always get well, I, on didn't this sure end of that I kind of thing? mean that, Fran. I just well, was going to give you a big, lovely build-up. Well, well, let's not let it. She's a good sport. Well, we're just going to have fun today. Let's have anyway. fun today anyway. So yeah. Shall we now, do it? Uh, there's a wonderful song uh, that Fran has always sung from, oh. for many, many years anyway, and we just love it, and we've asked her to sing it today. Ken, it's a most unusual day. Can I help? Please do. <laughs> I woke up singing this morning, got out of the right side of bed. I woke up singing this morning and wondering what was ahead. I took one good look at the sun and was I the luckiest one. It's a most unusual day. Feel like throwing my worries away. As an old native-born Californian would say, It's a most unusual day. There's a most unusual sky. Not a sign of a cloud passing by. And if I want to sing, throw my hat in the ring. It's a most unusual day. There are people meeting people. How do you do? Nice there is you. sunshine everywhere. La, 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 la. There are people greeting people. Nice to see you. And a feeling <laughs> of spring in the air. It's a most unusual time. I keep feeling my temperature climb. If my heart won't behave in the usual way, well, there's only one thing to say. It's a most Unusual, most unusual, most unusual, most unusual day. <laughs> oh, I love that song. Well, it's friend. not fun, so oh, well, what all is going to happen? Well, I don't know. I just don't know. We've, we've just thrown the thing open, and everybody's going to pick uh, what they want to do today. It's just going to be an open, free time. Well, I got to go. I got to look in the prop box to see what I got. All right, great. I love this kind of a day. I do too, and especially when you have a song like that, friend. I just, you know, it fixes up everything. I don't see how it starts it off well, it doesn't it? Does. It does, and, and, and it makes me feel good because I don't think anything could go wrong, you know? Well, I don't, I don't think it will. How could it? I don't think it could either. Well, darlings. Oh, well, Madam Olpus. I just wanted to say goodbye. It's good. been awfully nice working with you and with you, little uh, Kukla. I really goodbye. enjoyed the years. Yes, Francis. You look lovely, darling. You look well, just lovely. Well, thank and you, And I'm Madam sure Olpus. you're going to have a very happy series. It's awfully nice to be with you. Well, Madam Ogopus, please. Will you have my trunk brought up, please? And tell the taxi to wait. I'll be right out as soon as I say goodbye to some of my good old friends. You, you uh, don't say that, you're, Madam Ogopus. You're, you're going on tour? No, darling, I'm leaving. But, Madam Ogopus, I, uh, I, I don't understand. Well, darling, it's nothing really very much, but, um, 
you shouldn't be offended by just what happened. We, it, it wasn't intended that. Oh. It, no, no, who's offended, no, darling? Madame. No, it's who's offended. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Just so happens that everyone at the station is talking about how, of all the people in the show, everyone's been on, everyone's sung several songs, we're way into the series, and I haven't been up but once, except that miserable Halloween show where a big bug scared me and I fainted. <laughs> this is supposed to be educational television, that's what I heard them talk about. This is supposed to be the channel that brings you culture and music, right? Right, 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 right. Yes, absolutely. Well, what are you bringing them? Here I am, my talent's wasted. Why don't I go somewhere else? That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm taking please my don't hats do and that, I'm madam. Madam, please, please don't do please, that. Please don't do that. Don't. Please, Isn't it please, I'm please, please. When well, you want please. to get so caught up in all of the things concerning his very own self, and then, and. Well, we didn't mean to offend. I'm not offended! I hope you won't. I really hope you won't. See, the thing is, we did really plan. Uh, we we really did plan. And what? Uh, this very day, we were going to surprise you. Oh, forgive me. We were really, we were going to surprise you because we're today... We were going to surprise everybody. Everybody. We were, because... Um, uh, we were going to tell everybody that you're going to do your big television musical today. That's right. You mean with the flute? Yes. And the whole thing? The whole thing. Wait, wait, yes, the, 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 the flutist, the, the, the flutist, or whatever you call him. He's, we're going to, um, he's coming. Oh, forgive me again. Rehearsal. He's coming, yes, and, uh, and we want you to do that wonderful number that you've worked so hard on, the roses, that beautiful thing. Oh, that lovely thing that, uh, uh Edie Bailey, Mrs. E.D. Bailey, uh, that one. Oh, you do like that. Oh, I love that one. It's a good number. It is Written good by number. Mr., what was his name? Bischoff. Bischoff, I mean. Mr. Bischoff, yes. <laughs> That's oh, the one. What shall I send to my sweet, that one? Oh, that is the one. See, we wanted you to do it, Madame Ogopus. Please, I We were you... afraid if we gave you a chance to think it over, you might say no. So we thought, well, we'll just spring it all at once. Ridiculous girl. <laughs> well, I, I, uh... Well, Madame Ogopus, why don't you go down and, and get, get into your off. rehearsal clothes and, and l l we'll do it today. We'll, we'll invite people and, and oh, it'll be just wonderful, won't it, Fred? Oh, it'll be just beautiful. Well, I... I um, I could always go away later. Of, of course, of course I, you can. Of course you could, and and do it. Just stay for today. Well, all right. I'll Good. think it over. Now, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't know. What will can we you do? get the flautist? Well, um, and listen, sure. It's really true. Uh, Julie was telling me yesterday. You know, she loves Madame Ogopus, and she was waiting for a concert. And we didn't even. We've never had it. It's really true. Well, it was very. Remiss on our no, part. Ken, will you get your knuckles in good shape? And, you know, crack them good so you can play well for her. Cause, uh, and listen, let's all dress up and let's invite the critics. Fine, let's well, have I don't a real think I have time to dress up, but I'll go and call well, the gentleman. I'll, I'll put a little uh, a black oh, tie on. Do and, that. Wait a minute, friend. There's just one thing. Uh, don't you think it'd be nice to have the curtain effect and the whole thing? Oh, the velvet curtain. The velvet curtain. And of course. Pull it up with the big and everything. Well, maybe before I call uh, the. The flutist, I better call uh, Cecil Bill. I think so, yeah. Uh, and, and get it straight with him, and I'll go and tell everybody to get dressed, you know, to the teeth. All right. To the fine. nines, to the we'll teeth, whichever way. Oh, all yeah. right. I'm sorry. Well, Cecil Bill, I was just going to call you. How are you? Well, Cecil Bill, let me tell you. We're in a kind of a uh, situation here. Mm -hmm. We want to have a special musical for uh, Madame Ogopus. You know, she'll be the star. <laughs> and, well, she will be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but she will be. <laughs> and so we thought we'd just go all out and have the velvet curtains. So would you get... What do you mean you can't get them? The stage hands convention? Well, you don't Everything have to Everything all go. set? Hi, Hi, Francis. Hi, Cecil Bill. Everything all set for the curtain? No, show. not really. Uh, Cecil Bill, uh, why do you... You don't have to go uh, today. Because you're a delegate, huh? Well, you can't you, be here do? for the... You can't work the curtains and... Oh, Cecil Bill. An idea just struck me. I mean, 
I wouldn't want to be so bold as to, because I mean, I'm not even a member of the, of your exalted union. I kiss your tiny feet, but I mean, if, if Don't lay I could, too heavy, Bill. If, if I could just, you know, I would be glad to help. Do, 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 do. Yes, I know if you would just teach me, I could, oh, I would do. And I won't six. look while you're doing it. No one will ever know. Do, 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 do. Solemnly swear. Do, do. All right. Do, do. Okay, I'll go call the do, 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 do. All right, just tell me. Just give me the pointers. Show me how to set it up and I'll do it. Oh, this will be so wonderful. Here, now, what do I do? What do I do? Where, where are you? Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. What do I do? do, 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 do. Oh, I take this, huh? Oh, I take it. I'm small, but I'm wiry. Oh, here are the velvet curtains. Oh, look at those beautiful velvet curtains. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, what do I do? What sh do, 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 do. Okay, I'll take it easy. I'll take it easy. So excited! Imagine me, the first girl stagehand in history. What? Oh, I see. Yes, yes. What is this? Oh, I see. Yes, this rope. What do I do with it? What are those funny little things? Oh, sandbags! Oh, we're gonna spread sand on the stage, and we're gonna have a little dance! Oh, what the... Do, 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 do. Huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, it fastens over here, huh? Hey, see? Oh, great! Oh, do, 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 do. First lesson, don't let it blind you. Do, 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 do! Now, I fasten it right there, like that, right? Do, 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 do. And we take the other one over here, I see. Not hard at all. Take the sandbags down here. <laughs> Brian, I flunked first. Would you bring up that end? Oh, right off the bat, I flunked. I'm sorry, Cecil Bill. Never leave a baton unattended. All righty, now, here we go. Now, whoops, I'm caught, honey, I'm caught. Now what do I do? Do 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 do. I see. Do 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 do. <laughs> I could kill myself. <laughs> do 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 do. Francis. Yes. Be right there. I blew the whole bit. So beautiful. What happened? Well, I was going to put the curtains up, and I was trying to work so hard, and I, I let the baton go. You let the baton go? It's just go. like sailing. You got to duck when the boom comes around. I know, I know. And I didn't duck. Well, supposing, could we do without the curtains? I don't know. I can't. I, just for rehearsal. But she likes the curtains, doesn't well, she? she likes the curtains. Well, oh, here I am. Me, 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 oh. me, 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 Don't worry about a thing, madam. Me. Me. Everything will be just fine. Just fine, just, just fine. Just wonderful. Well, now, when I come out upon the stage, I do want the spotlights up nice and bright, and I would like uh, to have the curtains uh, raised and, uh, and to a tumultuous applause, of course. <laughs> Well, I'm sure Beulah can work that out. I'll go. I have to make a telephone call. Get it, Eternal! Coward! Chicken! <laughs> you don't understand all those words that you're calling, Francis. Ophelia. What, oh, dear? I <laughs> kiss your tiny feet! <laughs> what did you do, dear? I ruined your whole concert! I dropped the baton and the curtain fell down and the hooks are all over the place and I don't understand the miserable thing. Oh, darling. Oh, hush a -bye, dear friend. Girl chum Beulah. You mustn't feel like that. I'm not going to use an everyday, ordinary curtain. Not in this day and age. Not in television. And not? No, darling. My director... <laughs> and good friend and understander of the arts, <laughs> has prepared a lovely, colorful electronic curtain for me. Uh, Dick, darling, let's show Beulah how it works. Oh, oh incredible! <laughs> now let's put it up, dear. Incredible! 
I cannot believe it! Oh! Now, so you see, darling, get dressed and enjoy the concert. Let's not worry. Would you like to pull the electronic curtain? Oh, yes, I, I can. Yes, I'll go get dressed. Oh, isn't that exciting? Dick baby, when I give you the signal, would you do it and then, after, after that, I guess we'll be ready to start the concert. Put my tail coat on him. Well, you look so elegant. Everything okay? Well, did the flute is coming? Everything? Well, of course, I'm I've so been excited. To get, uh, hey, look, there's plenty of Cassidy. Oh, of course. Go oh, hi. How are you? What if I should go Why sit with Why did you go and sit with him? Would be nice. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Well, well, let me know now if there's anything I can do. Or well, I, yeah. But I'll, um, I'll, I'll come right mind. back go after. Go ahead. You. Oh, oh, oh Roger. Roger. how are you? Uh, see that Mr. Dittmer is seated over there, will you please? Hello there, Francis. Oh, Fletcher, how, how are, are you? I'm fine, dear, and you look so Thank great. you. Well, you like it? Oh, of course it's I my, like it's it. It's my new cotton tail. Well, it looks <laughs> just wonderful. You heard of white tie and tail? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> well, there's white tie and tail. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. What is it? Well, oh, Fletch, this is mad. I was just oh, told a report. I saw it on the bulletin board. Report to the concert hall in full dress. Well, you've done that, and we're going to have a wonderful time, Mrs. Madam Ogopus. Big hour. Oh, great. Oh, oh, oh I heard about it. She's going to do that number with a flute. Oh, isn't well, that, Mark? Yes. Hello. Oh, hi, Hello, Fred. Hello, Fletch. Hello, Dolores, dear. You look very sweet. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. I want you. you to be quiet. I'll be very quiet. Oh, please. I won't say a word. Well, you can applaud at the right time. Bravo, I see. That Bravo, bravo bra for the lady. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> Come on now, you're going right. to sit with me. Or sit with Fletcher. See you later. And all oh, right, so fine. <laughs> Mr. First Nighter, how wonderful that you could come. Won't you sit over here? Who are you talking to, Francis? Mr. First Nighter. Oh, is he here? Yes. Is hey, there's Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Oh. <laughs> Who's he sitting with over there? Well, I know, is that Thomas Willis? The, no, he, oh, no, that's not Tom. But look who's there in the back. Who? Joan and Marilyn. Oh, oh they're wonder. here to steal some numbers from Adam Ogle, but you well, know they that. might. <laughs> they very well Ooh. might. Oh, I'm so, how do you like my stick pin? Oh, Ollie. Carol Channing gave that to me. She did? Isn't that lovely? I don't dare bend this way. I'll hurt myself. Well, oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> See you later. All yeah. right, Ooh, dear. I'm so excited. Be sure to sit next oh, yes, to me. Sit right over here. <laughs> Hello, Francis. Hello, I'm here. Oh, I'm Beulah. all dressed. Well, Beulah, you forgot to take the curlers out of your hair. Oh, what? Oh, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> sorry. Oh, what's off? Oh, I'm just... Uh, I'm so excited. This is well, so marvelous. What an occasion. I know. Isn't this marvelous? Yes, it is. So exciting. Oh, I'm so fix your hair. I'm sorry about the curtain. Oh, so well, you sorry. couldn't help that. And what a wonderful idea came out of the whole thing. Isn't it marvelous? I'm sorry. I hope. Is it, is it bad luck to see? Is it like the bride when you see the performer before? I don't think so. Oh, I wish you luck. I do want to wish you well, luck. Well, of yes. course you yes. do. Oh, my gracious, I'm sorry. There's Mrs. Schoenberg. Hello, Mrs. Schoenberg. How do you Hi, sir. Yes, I hope he gives me a good review next time. Well, no, I'm sure he will. <laughs> herself is Psst, Please minute. get off the stage. Oh, well, Holly, well, off the stage. What? Oh, wait. Uh, off the stage. Could off I just the get to... No, off the stage, Francis. <laughs> she was trying to tell you something. I don't care. And you off the stage, too. Oh, do you look snazzy. Come out of here. You. Come on, let me look at you. Oh, oh, Cal Rosa. Oh, look at me. Oh, do you... Oh. Ophelia, you are going to be such a hit. Oh, you are going to be such a hit. Oh, I just... If you don't let me go, I won't be able to sing. <laughs> Sorry. Well, <laughs> what do they say? Uh, uh, break leg. Oh! <laughs> See you around. Oh, Richard, Richard. Please, will you introduce me? Yes, my dear little girl, I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, hurry up. I've got to have a proper introduction. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and friends of music everywhere. The Cuckapolitan uh, Light Opera Company and Strolling Carolers 
take great pleasure tonight in bringing you this fine program, this recital by an artist of renown and great beauty. Hurry up, get on with it, dear. Yeah, I am, I am, I am. And <clears throat> I'd like to now introduce to you a lady whose poise and whose charm and whose endurance has uh, brought a great... Get on with it, Richard! I will, my dear. Just take your time. Oh, I'm so nervous. And now I'd like to present to you that charming, lovely nightingale of song, Madam Ophelia Ogopus. <laughs> Break a leg. Oh, Richard, thank you. Thank you so much, dear friends, for being here. I can't tell you how moved I am. How really moved and touched I am by your presence. I'd like to start off my recital tonight with a dear number, number written for me and dedicated to me by two great and glorious musicians, composers. I think you will be particularly interested tonight in the excellent and virtuoso playing of the flautist who will join me in the last half of my song. <clears throat> I'm going to sing for you. That's why I'm wearing this little token. <laughs> Roses. Kenneth? <clears throat> what shall I send to my sweet tonight? Tell me, sweet flower, roses of yellow or pink or white. What shall I send? Gold for her smile and her sunny hair, a pink for the flush that her cheek will wear, white for her soul and the secrets there. What shall I send, sweet roses? Which shall she lay on her breast of snow? Tell me, sweet flower, is it a prophecy, weal or woe? What shall I send, yellow for gold and the world's decree, pink for a love and its ecstasy, a white for the robe of a saint to be? What shall I say? <laughs> what shall I say? <laughs> what shall I say to my sweet tonight? Flautist. Oh, Francis, Francis. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't want to embarrass you. I, I hope you aren't angry with me. Angry with you? Francis, have you ever considered doing this professionally? You have a great lip. Well... Francis, you are a, a trooper. You are a good sport and a, and a... And a rotten a... whistle player. No, you're not, my dear. You're, you're marvelous. Oh, join me on the finale, will you, darling? Oh, please, you... It was... It was remarkable. I've never been so inspired. 
Well, just give me a hint. Uh, uh, the note. Tell, tell. Right. Uh, tell me. Oh, tell me. My. card in the union. Says the Bill said I had a lot to make up for that curtain bit. Well, I'm willing to work hard. I'll slave. <sighs> Wasn't she great? Wasn't a great evening? Oh, I tell you. <clears throat> You were magnificent. I hope one day that I can stand out in the spotlight and do something beautiful like that. You did something beautiful, darling. You helped by just being there. Oh, you're my girl. Chum, I kiss your tiny feet. Oh, you were here. My bouquet for you, darling. Arvederci. She's really a grand lady. Fran and Ollie starred Burr Tilstrom, Fran Allison, Kukla and Ollie with Beulah Witch, Fletcher Rabbit, Madam Oglepuss, Colonel Cracky, Cecil Bill, and all the Kuklapolitans. Welcome back to the best of Fletcher Rabbit. Uh, some of you may be wondering how it's possible to train a worm. Uh, I, it is a difficult thing. Uh, I started uh, with a flea circus when I was but a boy. Uh, in my rabbit hutch, uh, my country rabbit hutch, uh, there was great opportunity to study the flea. And uh, so I became acquainted with the fleas, and uh, we had a very successful tour in Copenhagen and various places in the world. And it just so happens, while I was in Denmark talking to some Danish fleas, uh, they spoke three languages, remarkable the Danish fleas, uh, they said uh, that they knew of an extraordinary worm uh, who was doing a solo act, but didn't have an agent. Well, sir, you can, uh, what's that? Oh, yes, all right, we'll get on with, sorry. <laughs> My uh, star wants to get on, and here he is now, uh, Werner the Trained Worm. Uh, let's give him a big hand. Thank you, yes. Yeah. 
Yes, I think uh, I think it is best if you come in close. That's just fine, John. That's just fine. All right, uh, Werner. <clears throat> uh, uh, let's show everybody how uh, bright you are. How much is two and two? <laughs> two and two. Are you starting over again, or is that two? <laughs> well, I'll take it for two. All right, no, two and two is not two. Two and two is what? Uh, no. <laughs> Very bright. <laughs> uh, yes, what? No, speak English. You know I don't understand Danish. <laughs> oh, oh, you'd rather do the musical number. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Uh, my uh, Werner, the train worm, is now going to do uh, his own remarkable uh, musical number. <clears throat> He's the only worm in the world with an embouchure uh, that can blow a mighty trumpet. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, you've got your breath. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Remarkable, wasn't it? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Uh, 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 hold it just a minute, Ken. Uh, that was, um, uh, uh, Old Black Magic. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm covering you. Uh, that was Old Black Magic. It wasn't Old Black Magic. Uh, what was that? Well, let me just hear it again. Uh, uh, my country, tis of thee. Right! Oh, let's give him a big hand! Shall we give him a big hand? That's just marvelous. Werner, I think you're a remarkable worm, and I'm so happy to have you here, and I'll let you go back. They will give you a reward. We feed all of our animals after every act, and what is it you want tonight? Of course, coffee in a Danish. Well, off we go. That, that looks quite good uh, to me. Yes, I think that looks just fine. Yeah, oh, indeed, that is just fine. Thank you very much. Well, I like to work in my costume when I'm rehearsing. You see, I'm pay, uh, playing the part of uh, Galileo. Well, thank you very much. It's my old Columbus Day costume. Well, rather, it's Kukla's old Columbus Day costume. My, well, uh, thank you very much, Cecil Bill. I believe we'll just get on with the rehearsal then. Oh, uh, Kenneth, uh, I'd like to have some sort of a, a star-gazing uh, music, please, back of this. Oh, good. Oh, good. Excellent. Oh, I like that. My, my. Just like the afternoon soaps. Fine. Fine. All righty. Now, we'll start. Galileo is just about to make his momentous discovery uh, through his uh, telescope. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Do some work on this thing. <clears throat> mm hmm. Mm. Eureka! I see something small, shiny, and beady. It's my lovely eyes. <laughs> Lady Beulah, what are you doing up here in my observation tower? I followed you, Leo. Oh, Leo, what are you doing? This is madness. You must, you must forget all of this. Really, you're going to get into trouble. I know. Oh, I cannot. I must work on my discovery. This is a telescope. Oh, you and your discovery. Honest, but look how beautiful the heavens are. All those stars. I see the stars. And those beautiful starry heavens are made for more than peering through a telescope with at, for, by. You've got to change that line. I know it. You wrote it. <laughs> Please, let's just take a walk and... You know how I feel about you, Leo. Yes, I do, Lady Beulah, but you'll have to wait because astronomy comes first with me. Let me look again. Aha! Aha! What are you saying aha -ha for? You've got your nose in there. What are you going to see? Well, I'm trying my best, <laughs> Beulah. Sorry. I see a small red planet. I believe that that must be that wonderful near neighbor of ours. I think I will name it. Oh, do name it, name it. Then let's get on with our friendship. Why don't you name it Beulah? It's not right. That's not a good name for a planet. Oh, well, that's not a good name for a planet. <laughs> I think I will name it Mars. He's going to sing now. 
Mars, Mars, beautiful Mars, twinkling like a ruby. High in the heavens I see your canals. That is the place that I'd like to be. Rhymes with ruby. I know, I know. Mars, Mars, beautiful Mars, gem of the whole solar system. You're red like a berry and so planetary. I would be merry if you'd only tarry. But on you must go whirling forth through the stars. That's our Mars, beautiful Mars. Dee die, die, dee dee die. Come on, Leo, Leo, forget the telescope. I'm here. Dee 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 Oh, oh, here I am. Oh, they've arrived, they've arrived. Oh, Fletcher, happy Valentine's. Oh, thank you, Beulah. Now, now, uh, calm down. Let's just make this very simple and uh, and let me see if I can uh, get these sorted out. Here, do you want me to help you with your bag? Please, uh, Beulah, these are just for the little uh, uh, small things. I'll just put it over here. Thank you. <clears throat> now, here we go. Good, good. I'll help you sort. Now, wait. Patience, patience, patience. Now, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Kukla. There's a nice one for Kukla. And there's one for Oliver J. Dragon. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yes, Werner Worm. Isn't that not Werner Worm got one? And here's one for Cecil Bill. I'll put that over here. And that's one for Madame Oglepuss. Another one for Madame Oglepuss. And there's one for, uh, oh, for Colonel Cracky. And there's one for Cecil Bill. <laughs> Dolores. 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 Fran, that's for Fran. And here's one for moi. <laughs> oh, they didn't forget the old mailman. Ah. <laughs> uh, Madame Ogopus, Madame Ogopus, Madame Ogopus, Frances, Frances, whoops, uh, Dolores, Kukla, Ale, uh huh. There, 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 I see a B right there. Where, where, Beulah? Right there. B, B. Burr Tilster. Dolores? Dolores? Madame Ogopus, Frances, <laughs> Madame Ogopus. Francis. There we are. Is that all? Is that all? There must be some more downstairs. I don't believe so, Beulah. That's the last mail, and they all came. <laughs> well, I'll have to deliver them. You'll excuse me. I'll uh, take them down and get them to the right people. Certainly. Certainly. You sure there are no more? No more? No, I don't think so, Beulah. Fletcher? What is it, Beulah? I forgot your bag. Thank you, Beulah, very much. You're welcome. I got three last year. Not even one this year. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Oh, Kukla, this, you should see the inside of this rocket. Ooh, that is marvelous. Hey, Fletcher, all that equipment is still in there. Sure, sure, but I think it's all deactivated. That's just beautiful, just beautiful. You know, Kukla, why I wanted to do the show. Well, I suppose you just wanted to kind of do a nice musical, didn't you? No, it's more than that. I've always had a hankering to <laughs> go up there in the great space areas and come back and be the first bunny to have made it. <laughs> oh, down Michigan Avenue, Fifth Avenue, Sunset Boulevard. Call from the president? Yes, a call from the president. <laughs> Oh, that would be just wonderful. Oh, yes, I sometimes think that if I could do that, well, I can, I'm a show bunny, and so the next best thing I thought was to do a little show. Well, that's just wonderful. Do you think there'll be a part for me? Oh, yes, in the finale, as a matter of fact. Uh, in the finale, we're going to uh, have a liftoff, and a, uh, oh, we're just going to have a remarkable thing, and you could be... Uh, well, it was a part I was going to give to Werner. Werner? Uh, Von Worm. Oh, yes, yes, of course. 
but you could be an assistant and do the countdown and everything. Oh, that would be great. And I could sort of, I'm going to, see, I'm going to wear the helmet and I'm going to be the, the astronaut. Oh, well, I'll be glad to help if you want. I'll do whatever you say. Let's rehearse that right now. Here, I'll, uh, I'm going to do it just like they really do. And when I get in the rocket, I'm going to turn on my magnetic boots and uh, we're going to pretend like it was a real takeoff. Oh, great. How are you going to do the whole thing? Oh, you'll love it. Google, it's just going to be done with some flashing lights and then the curtain will come down and all that. Oh, well, okay, I'll do it. I'll do whatever you say. Can I hold the door for you? Yeah. Are you in all right? Yeah, I'm there. Turning on my boots now. What do I do? Lock me up. Oh, okay. There you go. Now what? Now, uh, countdown. Oh, uh, from where? From five. Oh, all right. Um, <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one, lift off! Roger! <laughs> Fletcher! 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 What, Dukla? Good heavens. You're still here. Yes, but there goes my scenery. And there goes my show. Kuklat wasn't deactivated. Oh, Fletcher, I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> oh, Fletcher, you're so thoughtful and so tender and so understanding and sweet. You know, it's just a shame that you don't have a family of your own. Oh, I do, my mother and father. And... Well, no, I mean a real your own family you're so wonderful with children you mean little bunnies of course oh francis oh. not old bachelor fletcher <laughs> well i just think oh, it no. would be wonderful i'm too set in my ways francis you know i go out and talk to the young rabbits uh, everywhere you know uh, we we try we're trying to work out programs for i know them i know you do that's and, why i say i just think it would be wonderful and i somehow feel that there are enough bunnies in the world today without my adding to it but uh, I do like the youngsters, but I just have a feeling that, I don't know, uh, plants are so much easier to kind of, you know, depend on and all. And Well, like that little song. Uh, do you remember that little song about plant radish? Well, I hope I do. Uh, uh, Kenneth, do you remember that one? Yeah. Let's give it a whirl and we'll just... Plant a radish, get a radish, never ending. Why I love vegetables, you know what you're about. Plant a turnip, get a turnip, maybe you'll get two. That's why I love vegetables, you know that they'll come through. They're dependable. Yes, siree, they're befriendable. They're the best pal a parent's ever known. While with children, yes, it's bewildering. You don't know until the seed is nearly grown just what you've sown. So plant a carrot, get a carrot, not a Brussels sprout. That's why I love vegetables, you know what you're about. Life is merry if it's very vegetarian. A man who plants a garden is a very happy man. Fast asleep. <laughs> Sometimes in the middle of winter you'll go out and you'll get under the snow and you'll find parsley growing there just as happy and alert as you can be. You can't believe it. But children, I don't know. They're dependable. Plants, yes, they're befriendable. They're, they're the, the best, best pal a parent's ever known. While with children, it's bewildering. You don't know until the seed is nearly grown just what you've sown. So plant a cabbage, get a cabbage, not a sauerkraut. That's why I love vegetables, you know what you're about. Life is merry if it's very vegetarian. A man who plants a garden is a very happy, very happy, very happy man. <laughs> I sang your line there for me. I don't care. You don't mind? No.